Hi guys, I know it's been a long time since I created my last video, so I decided to create one today. Uh, due to coronavirus, my school's shut down till April, so I have a lot more time to focus on Alexa. I hope you guys are all good and staying safe. Today I'll be showing you how to add a video to an Alexa skill using Alexa Presentation Language, or APL. If you're new to APL, I would suggest you look for one of my other videos about adding basic APL. Otherwise, let's get started. So first we're gonna go to the developer console where we're gonna use the APL authoring tool to create our video template. So just go to the Alexa skills kit, scroll down to the Alexa skill you're adding the APL video to. And if you scroll down, Right here under annotation sets, you should see display. Go ahead and click on that. Create a template. And we don't need any of the pre-built templates, so just click on start from scratch. So now you should be at a screen that looks like this. And right now we're in the GUI tab and there's like lots of other tabs, APL, data, styles, etc. So just click on the main template and click on this plus sign right here select a component and if you scroll down you should see a video component go ahead and add that video component and i'll make it a little bigger so i can see it clearly okay so there's a few things we need to do to this video component before we're finished the first thing we need to do is add a source or the url that we're going to download from so i'll just put example url for now and then if you scroll down you should see width and put that as 100% and height as 100%. So this is if you want your video to take up the entire screen. If you want to take up half the screen, do half those and so on. So then once you're done with this, just go to the APL tab and copy all this code and then go ahead and paste it in a new file, and move that file to your APL slash layouts folder, and name it videoplayer.json. So then, once you're done with that, there's only a little more that we need to do. If uh, I'm going to go to my get advice intent handler, which is where I want to add my video. And so all I need to do is add this chunk of code from the if to this bracket, and I'm done. I'll explain briefly what this code does. So in the if condition, I have APL helper supports APL, and I'm passing handler input to it. This is a function, uh, supports APL is a function in my APL helper. And it basically checks whether the user's device is screen-based or not because if it isn't screen-based, like let's say it's an echo dot, and you try to send an APL directive to it, your skill will fail. So then, so if the user's device is screen-based, then we want to return dot speak the speech output, and then we want to add two directives, a render document and an execute command. So to put it simply, the first uh, directive explains what layout we're using, and the second one actually plays the video. So then, once you're done with this, the only other thing you need to add is this else condition, so if the user is using like an Echo Dot or some other device with without a screen, then you probably just want to say something like, sorry, this device doesn't show video. And once you're done with this much, that's it, you're done. Remember that my code will be on GitHub, and I'll leave a link to that down below, and we're finished. So this was kind of a quick intro video to get you started, but Video Player has a lot more capabilities that I didn't talk about. Thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll definitely respond. You can visit my website at awesomearv.com, or you can find me on Twitter at awesomearv. Remember to like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.